Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about empties and declutters for March. And I thought while I did that, I would do a face mask. Uh, because who doesn't love multitasking? Um, this is the Frank Body Anti Drama Face Mask. And I thought it might be a good one because I'm to leave it on for 15 minutes. I thought I would put this on and hopefully I don't have very many empties and or declutters so it shouldn't take all of the 15 minutes and if it does it will be edited down where you don't have to endure that. Um, but yeah this is a anti-drama face mask. I don't really know what it does. It's kind of like a charcoal mask. I don't know. My skin's mad at me so I thought I would again multitask with a multi mask. Boop. Boop it on. All right. Cute. Pink, pink. Gray, gray. <laughs> I love a monochromatic moment. And while my face is marinating, I'm going to apply this Merit Lip Oil. Which I do really like, do not get me wrong. It is very nice. I would never repurchase this because I think Carnex is better and this is too expensive <laughs> for something that I think a drugstore product chapstick is better. So anyways, let's get to the empties. The first empty, we're gonna go skincare, because I have mostly skincare, and then we'll talk about makeup. Um, this is my Holy Grail OG moisturizer that I have literally used at this point for probably five years. Um, it's the Chalk Chalk Glowing Moisturizer with Citrine from OK uh, Beauty, I think. Get it at Ulta. Um, I go back and forth. I'd use other things at other times, but I always go back to this one. It's just perfect. It's lightweight, very moisturizing, absorbs quickly. I really like it. That's why it's like my, it is, it's my holy grail. It's hard to, I have yet to find something that is better than this for the price point. I, can't, I don't know how much this is to be honest. Um, maybe like $18, $20. It's not like $50 moisturizer or anything. But for the price, I think it's really good, very affordable, and I will continue to buy it until I find something better. Um, so that's the first one. Then we have this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I love cleansing balms and I love trying them out. Um, of course, you know, first step in a double cleanse is a cleansing balm for me. Um, I liked it. I didn't hate it at all. I really liked it for traveling too, but um, I didn't think it was any better or worse than the Pons one that I really like or the Milani one that I really liked. So very just run of the mill, good cleansing balm. If I could get another like small size like this for traveling, absolutely would. Don't think I would go out of my way to repurchase it when I think drugstore brands are just as comparable and cheaper. Now we have the Inky Lists 15% Vitamin C and EGF, which I remember looking up what EGF was, but now I don't remember what it is. But I liked it. Um, <laughs> I only use drugstore <laughs> moisturizer. Drugstore cleansing balms are better than a high end because of the price. Well, I'm, I think the more you pay for a vitamin C, the better your results. I've used some drugstore ones, the Inky List, the Ordinary, um, and they're okay. They're okay. Um, but I've also had some high end ones from, that I've gotten through Octoly or Influencer. And the one that I remember is the beauty counter. Oh, I liked that one so much. I noticed a difference in using that one. Um, these ones are okay. You know, affordable, good, drugstore, skincare. Um, as I say that, I like the bougie, you know, beauty counter and higher end vitamin C serums. I am using the e.l.f. 
vitamin C serum, and I know that one's supposed to be very good. I am enjoying it. Uh, I've just... I don't think I've used it enough to be like, yes, this is drastically better than other ones that I've used that aren't the beauty counter. Which is like $84. I'm sorry, I'm not going to spend $84. Uh, I wish I could. <laughs> okay, and then makeup. See, we're moving quickly. Um, my favorite drugstore mascara. This is the Revlon Big Bad Lash. I love this formula. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge on me. I really like the wand. It's very volumizing, um, lasts all day, very black, very affordable. Can't complain. I say this is a holy grail and I've repurchased, repurchased it probably three times now, so it, I'm due for another one. I'm just trying to finish up some other mascaras I have, so I don't have an excess of working on having one to two products tops instead of having five to choose from. And the last empty is very exciting because not only is it empty, it was a full pan. <laughs> That's not product, I promise. Um, this was a ColourPop bronzer in the shade Private Party. This is actually the second bronzer I finished. I finished a Private Party probably before I moved to Texas. I had repurchased this, so that was about two years ago. So it took me about two years to finish this bronzer. Um, if you're familiar with my makeup collection, you know that I have very few bronzers. <laughs> I think I have... Now that this one's gone, two, three, three powder bronzers and like one cream bronzer. So yeah, I feel like I'll probably move through them a little bit quicker now that I have even less to choose from. But I was pretty excited. Fully panned a bronzer. I have so much makeup. I feel like that doesn't happen that often where I can fully pan something, not just hit pan, but it's all gone. All gone. I used it all up pat myself on the back for that. I'm very, very proud of myself for that. Okay, those are my empties. <laughs> it was very quick. Took nine minutes according to my camera. Um, but I have two, three declutters, um, and one of them is a bronzer. This is the Rimmel Natural, Bron Natural Bronzer um, in the shade Sundance. And I just, I was so close to pan, I was trying really hard to hit pan. It's just too dark for me. It's too warm. It's too orange on me. It always made me look muddy. And even moving into um, summertime, I don't get tan. I don't tan. I don't bronze. You know what I mean? I don't look like a bronze goddess during the summer. I just look like a darker shade of white. It's too dark for me, it's too orange. So I said, life's too short for orange bronzer. <laughs> Out it goes. And then finally, I have these two mascaras. This one I think I've just had for too long. Um, the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean. I don't hate it. Um, I just feel like the formula has gone bad. And this Maybelline, Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High, hated it. Hated this. It did nothing for me, and it smudged like nothing I've ever experienced before. Uh, one of my, my, my TA, she's like 19 years old, 20 years old, and has beautiful lush lashes, and she had mascara on. I was like, oh my god, your lashes look amazing. She's like, thank you, it's Sky High from Maybelline, and I immediately went out and bought it, and then I hated it, and I told her that. I said... Works for you, not for me. Your lashes are sensational. Mine, not so much. Um, and if you compare it to even this wand, it's this little tiny, thin wand. Like, it does nothing for me. I, I like the big, fat brushes. I need volume. I would also like length, but I would prefer volume. And yeah, see, this one's very fat, too. So, not quite as bristly because it's like a plastic bristle uh so I prefer the bigger mascaras and that my friends brings us to the end of my March empties and declutters it wasn't a lot I honestly thought I had a lot more 
I'm trying to remember why I thought that. I wonder if I accidentally like threw some skincare stuff away. I could have sworn, oh, I know. It was, I have like two masks, like these kinds of masks. And I squeeze, 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 can't get anything out. But I'm also one to cut the top off. Cut the top off and scoop all the rest out. So I think in my head, I was like, these are almost empty. So, and that is my goal for April. I'm trying to use up as many of these as I can. Uh, so I have a lot of exfoliating charcoal masks and I want to replace them with more hydrating ones to have a better variety. Uh, but I have to have to move some first. I have to get rid of some. Uh, so that's my goal for this month. I don't foresee having very many makeup empties unless the makeup gods bless me. Maybe a, maybe a primer, but I'm really hoping to have some more skincare and masking empties for the for the month of April. But that's all I've got. Thank you for joining me. I hope this is a quick one. And I'm going to go wash my face and continue to relax and uh, think empty thoughts for the month of April. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, thanks again for joining. I hope to see you next time. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. I appreciate it. Okay, bye.